All right, folks, today we're going to be testing the 200 grain spear gold dot out of the 10 millimeter. And uh, we'll be doing a velocity test, we'll do a water jug test, and then for fun, we're going to see how accurate I am with my Springfield XDM competition with a five and a quarter inch barrel and iron sights. As you can see, nothing fancy. We got a red front sight, black rears, but yeah, I'm excited to see how this bullet performs. I can tell you right now, this is not my go-to bullet for an everyday carry, uh, going into town self-defense bullet out of the 10 millimeter. We'll get to that, um, but the penetration for me is just a little too high, and uh, it's a little more than what I think is necessary for a self-defense situation. If you would like, I'll go into some of my self-defense loads for 10 millimeter. But these are full power 10 millimeter loads. These are not the limp-wristed stuff that Spear manufactured that's only getting like a thousand feet a second. Um, these are full power loads. They should be uh, over 1,200 feet a second out of my 10 millimeter. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how these do. All right. We're gonna get a speed test on these 200 green gold dots. These are true full power 10 millimeter loads. Uh, I've got a five and a quarter inch barrel on my Springfield XDM. Uh, I believe this is the competition. Ooh, 1270. Like I said, that's a real full power 10 millimeter load using accurate number nine i'm not going to tell you how much because you need to work up your own loads for your own handgun but uh that's your hint accurate number nine all right so we've got three def jugs lined up i'm going to go back to about 10 feet and we're going to see how these 200 grain spear gold dots expand at real 10 millimeter velocities All right, well that seemed quite eventful. Let's take a look at the jugs. All right, so we easily passed through the first one. Got an exit out the back side. Perfectly center hit. Second jug went in the center and poked out the back. And we cracked the third but we did not penetrate it, so it's stuck here in the second jug. Um, let me dump it out, we'll see how the bullet looks. All right, so here's our 200 grain spear gold dot. As we can see, it expanded very nice. It expanded very far down. We lost one pedal, and uh, we almost lost another pedal. That's how hard back it expanded down. Overall, it held together very nice. We got excellent penetration. Uh, two jet def jugs worth. We saw that it hit the back and, and cracked the third def jug. For a 10 millimeter hollow point, that's excellent. Um, very good penetration. This would be an excellent hunting bullet. And uh, very, very good, just all around, walking around the woods bullet. As long as you're not in grizzly bear country where you have high likelihoods of getting charged by a grizzly bear, this would be one of my top choices for a utility 10 millimeter load that'll do just about everything. Okay, so we're gonna do one of my favorite drills. This will be a 10 yard increment walk back. Um, we'll start at 10 yards, go back 10 yards. Um, every time I make a hit, at whatever distance I can't make a hit within three shots is my max distance. I've got my Springfield XDM Elite with uh, factory sights. And uh, we'll start at 10 yards, see how far I can make hits.
Hit. Sixty yards. Ooh, I nicked it. I'll do it again. Miss. Two shots to hit at 90. There's a hit at 100. Hit. I think I just nicked it, but I heard it. Okay, we're at 120. Hit. Okay, 130. About the max I can go at this range is about 140, so we'll see what happens. Oh man, three shots, no hits at 130. Looks like 120 is about my max. That was a fun drill, and uh, I recommend you guys do it. Really helps you with trigger pull and uh, extending your effective range with a handgun.